What's up guys, welcome to your 13th tutorial, I think. You know, I should really write this down because at the beginning of every tutorial, I'm like, what tutorial number is it? But anyways, welcome to your 13th tutorial, I think. If it's not, who cares? And in this tutorial, we're done learning, you know, concepts, theory. Let's go ahead and actually build a useful program. So let me uh, throw something at you. Say you own this brilliant software company and a client comes in and he's like, I have a million dollar idea for a piece of software I need you to build. I want a piece of software that allows a user to enter their name, like Bucky Roberts, and then enter a sport like hockey or football, and then it prints out on the screen, Bucky Roberts loves hockey. Bam, there you go. How awesome of an idea is that? And we're like, oh yeah, that's awesome. You are an idiot, but we don't tell them that because they're paying us. What we do is we go ahead and we create this program anyways. So let's go ahead and create it right now and earn our money. Well, let's go ahead and we decided to take whatever name they entered and we decided the best way to store this is in a character array. All right, makes sense. So let's go ahead and 20 characters should be fine enough. And now we need a blank array for the sport that they enter. So character array, sport, and see, no sport is more than 20 characters long unless it's Russian and I got a joke. Um, If someone asks you, are you Russian? I'd be like, no, I'm not in a hurry. Get it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that was dumb. I probably should just redo this whole tutorial and not include that joke. But anyways, it's a dumb joke. One free dumb joke per tutorial. <laughs> so anyways, back to the tutorial. Now that we have two blank character arrays, one for name and one for sport, we now allow them to populate the array. And here is how you allow the user to populate an array. CIN, of course, name, and now whatever they whatever text they enter is going to be stored in the character array name and CIN sport and now whatever text they enter is going to be stored in the character array sport looks pretty good and now all we have to do is remember what he said he wants the name then loves sport like Bucky Roberts loves football so let's go ahead and do that for him name loves sport and go ahead and end that line and L for end line so now what's gonna happen is this it's gonna put a blank cursor on our screen have us enter the name and then you're gonna wanna press enter enter the sport press enter again and it's gonna say Bucky Roberts loves football so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get Bucky Roberts enter Whoa, whoa, whoa. This program is messing up already. Bucky loves Roberts. What? That sounds like some gay joke, and I don't like that one bit. So let's go ahead and see what we did wrong. And now we see this. Whenever we build a program this way, here's what happens. It allows us to enter our name, which it saw is Bucky, and then it saw a space. And then our compiler thought, all right, whenever you hit a space, this must be... A new variable that you're going to enter and I'm going to store this in sport but what we want to do is allow the user to enter their entire name and then once they hit enter we're gonna want them to uh, input the sport so instead of separating it with a space we're gonna want to separate the variables with an enter or return whatever keyboard you have so how do we fix this? Well, this is something we haven't gone over yet, but I'm about to teach that to you guys right now. Instead of CIN, go ahead and type CIN.get. Let's go ahead and delete these. Instead of CIN, go ahead and put CIN.get line. And now, as your parentheses, all right, let's back up for a second, Bucky. You're going a little too fast get line is a function that allows the user to enter a line of text instead of just one word separated by space so now what get line is going to do it's the same thing is you know allows the user to enter text but this is going to take the entire line of text and now when they hit enter 
it's going to end it. So this is a better way than just separating everything with spaces. It waits until the user hits enter and once they do it takes whatever text is on that line and stores it in this variable which is in this case name. So anyways this function takes two parameters. The first thing is what variable or in this case what array do you want to store this text inside? Name of course and it takes another parameter which you usually just have the same as your array what is the maximum amount of characters that you can enter and let's just go ahead and press 20 and now this is going to take the entire first line of text so this will take Bucky Roberts and store it in the array name perfect that's what we wanted and cin dot get line again of course we need another one for sport and 20 as well. Just go ahead and set this second parameter equal to however long you made your array. And now let's go ahead and run this program again. R build and run. Bucky Roberts. Go ahead and press enter and press football and make sure you spell it with two T's and not two L's or else it won't work. And check this out. Bucky Roberts loves football. How awesome is that? We just sold this program to this guy for a million dollars. Bam, I just made you guys a millionaire. So anyways, the key to this tutorial is this. Whenever you want to take any bit of text and store it inside an array, you know, whenever you want the user to enter their own text, you can do it in two different ways. One is just using the basic C in that we learned before. And this is gonna take anything they entered and treat each word as a new variable or you have a different way to do this if you want to take whatever they entered on an entire line and store that in a character array you need to use this special function that I taught you guys about called cn get line and of course this function takes two parameters the first one is name or whatever variable you want to store it inside and the second one is how many is the maximum amount of characters you can store and let me show you guys what I mean by this the user can enter more than 20 but it's not going to store more than 20 so let me go ahead and build this and show you guys Bucky Roberts is the best guy ever that's clearly more than 20 I think let's just add this just in case and it's, and check this out Bucky Roberts is the loves it stops at 20 and then you know it's not going to mess up if the user enters more than 20. It's just going to cut it off right at 20. So, anyways, that's what this little, uh, you know, stop sign means, the second parameter. So, anyways, that is the difference between CN and CN get line. One takes only a word separated by spaces, and one takes an entire line of text. So, in this case, this would be the better way. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I promise I'll be going over something a little more interesting. Or will I? See ya.